morning, everyone. This is your captain speaking. Welcome aboard China Southern Airlines flight from New York to Guangzhou. Now today our flight time will be 15 hours and 30 minutes. Morning. I just made it to Guangzhou and I'm with Lily. Hi. We're staying at the same hotel. I couldn't check in this morning yet, so she let me crash her room so I can shower and change. And right now we're going to meet up with Alice because she's staying somewhere else. Good morning everyone. I am very jet lagged. I slept around 9 p.m. last night and woke up at 2.30. Couldn't fall back asleep until 6. And now it is almost 10 and it is a beautiful day here in Guangzhou. The weather is actually quite hot. It's like 83 degrees, um, but at night it gets pretty cool. And I just wanna make the most out of today. It feels a little weird vlogging given everything that's been going on given the reason that I'm kind of here right now. But one thing that I really did appreciate was when I heard that my grandpa passed, I immediately went back to rewatch my China vlogs from this past summer. It was really nice to see his face, to hear him again, to kind of like see him in this still like really beautiful and healthy state. I've always been thankful for the side of my life, for having a platform to be able to share things with people online. But this is the first time that I felt grateful to myself for doing this because the last couple of days have been really difficult. And I was just so grateful to have like these little snippets of memories to look back upon. It was just really, really nice. So yeah, I think as much as I'm hurting, I want to make sure that I'm able to capture this moment in time with my family because um, it's been a very, very long time since the five of us, uh, my sisters, my parents and I, that we've been here in the city together. It's definitely a weird situation where I'm mourning, everyone else is mourning. Um, we're not really there, but at the same time we want to enjoy the time that we have together because I think if anything this entire situation made me realize even more so that family is very precious and the time that we have together is very precious and we should cherish it while we can. giving Duo a tour of our childhood playground. It's also where we used to exercise. So there's like public um, workout machines out in the open. And Liana and I used to come down here and work out and run laps. I'll show them how it's done. Work it, work it, work it. Work it, see stars, work it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's not 
stuck one on the vlog. It is very late right now. I feel like we spent most of our day just like eating and hanging out with our parents we and had a relatives. Family meeting. We had a family meeting. I got cramps. Yes. And now I'm bringing everyone to my favorite place here, Charlie, Charlie Tay. Tay. If it sucks, I'm gonna sue her ass. No, Charlie T. Charlie T, here we come. Charlie T. I got. I know all these words. 100%. Fall for fall. Okay. <laughs> this one, this one. It's all the fuck. And it's not just because there's pinion, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know Let's, me. uh, how about. The, the sign right there next to uh, the two. Uh, 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 oh, oh my god, I'm so good. That's oh. so good. Oh, clap, 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 clap. How about how about that one? Let, 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 let's keep walking, sis. Okay. <laughs> one for you. One for you. Oh, for me. Cheers. Cheers. You guys didn't even cheers me. It's actually good. It's more refreshing than I thought. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we look so dumb. So today is everyone's second to last day here. I will be staying here for a little longer, but this is the first day that we're all able to go out and do things and explore. So we are here in Dongsan Hao. We're just gonna walk around, see what we can buy, what we can eat, and just try to have fun and have a good day. Duo. <laughs> How is your first impression of China? There's a different smell every 10 meters. <laughs> sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good. I see. Sometimes it's really, really bad. Okay. day been on my feet since 7 a.m. and now it is almost 7 p.m. so finally got to catch a break today is my last night at the hotel 
and tomorrow I'm going to be moving back home to my grandparents place for the rest of the trip. I found this dumpling spot on the way home Ooh. and the most important thing tonight Yummy. So as many of y'all know, I came to Guangzhou earlier this summer to see my grandparents and this time around, I actually wasn't planning to come back, but I thought that since I was going to be in Asia for Christmas and New Year's, I might as well just swing by for a couple of days. So my intention was only to be here for like three to four days to see them, say hi, and then go do something else. Around my birthday, my parents told me that my grandpa was very sick. He had lung cancer. So last month I bumped up my plane ticket so that I could be here for his 90th birthday, which uh, was this past Sunday. But I ended up flying in for his funeral instead. So he passed two days before I arrived. So everyone in my family knew that this was going on and so uh, my sisters were already planning to come they've had their tickets for months my cousin quickly bought a ticket to um, come see my grandpa uh, and my mom flew over from vietnam my dad is obviously here and i was just waiting for my day to fly in and i'm very happy that most of the family was here to just like be here with him during this time to see him go. Um, I'm personally really grateful that my last memory of him was when he was able to talk to me, talk to my boyfriend, um, go out and have food with me and still have a conversation. I was able to see him still walking, still laughing, still being happy, still having strength. And I'm just so thankful that my last memory of him was very beautiful um, and I know that is something that not everyone in my family was able to witness because when my siblings and my cousin flew in he was already in a pretty bad state but at the same time I obviously feel a lot of guilt for not being able to be here to see him off he was in the hospital for a couple of days until he actually passed and so Everyone was with him during this time and they were able to process it during this time. When I got here, everything felt so surreal uh, up until today. Um, today was the first time that I saw him. And I'm a crier, like I will just cry talking when I'm emotional. I had a lot of thoughts and feelings to process because it all just happened so fast. So today was especially hard for me but obviously no one is hurting as much as my dad. For those of you who have gone through this really painful process of losing a loved one, you would know that grieving comes in waves, in stages. And uh, for now, I think I've made my peace with everything. And I know my grandpa would just want me to, you know, be happy, spend more time with my grandma while she's here, spend more time with my dad. It's not every day that I get to come to China and see them. I've been here twice this year, which I think is the max amount I've ever been in my life. Usually I just come back once every year. Um, so I'm gonna make the most out of my remaining time here as always. And I will strive every single day to be a person that he is proud of. It doesn't get any tastier.